One thing about me, I've always wanted a dream closet. I always wanted to have at least a two, three bedroom apartment so I can turn one of those bedrooms into a walk-in closet. And every time I go to order the pack system, it's always sold out in California for the key components that you need for the closet. And I went on a deployment and I had a lot of money saved up and I was like, okay, this is my time to actually get my closet. And they didn't have the things that I needed. So I was like, am I going to wait? I think it was just the universe trying to tell me that I needed to wait until I get my house or a bigger place or something like that. But I knew I needed to do something about this closet because you see what it looks like and it's a hot mess express. It doesn't go. It's like the only room in my apartment that does not flow and there's no cohesion. It's just a hot mess. And I have to walk through there. It's literally like the armpit of my apartment. So I knew I wanted to do something and I was like, this is the time to be able to do it and now i'm so glad that i found this solution and it's a fraction of the cost for what i would be spending on the pack system so it's very budget friendly very rental friendly and yeah here are some of my things that i already had on hangers just brought them out to the couch because i don't want to rehang things that i already know that i'm gonna hang but let me show you the hot mess that's br <clears throat> oh my god so yeah it's going to get way say hello it's gonna get uglier before it gets better i have like shoes accessories random charlie has a lot of accessories that i didn't realize like i have crap everywhere but our closet hello camera is clean so now what i'm gonna do is take these racks off and put them in my storage so I don't lose them. Make sure I have all the screws. I'm going to vacuum this floor and then we're going to start picking up our items and I'm so excited. You don't know how many times I've recorded this video. My camera's audio went out but nevertheless like none of that matters right now. I'm going to be showing you how I turned $25 bookshelves from Target into a dream closet. So if you're interested in something like that, stay tuned. You saw how hot mess of a chore it was to get this closet cleaned and prepped for all of this. So let's just talk the semantics on what my idea was and how we got it to be what it is. These are the $25 shelves from Target. They, I have six of them in here and it took me roughly whatever I got in the groove of everything. Um, it took me roughly like 20 minutes to build each one. I haven't bolted them in anything like into the wall or screwed anything into the wall. So it's very renter friendly. They're just stacked on one another. I knew that I wanted two of them to be for my shoes. And I cleaned out all my closet, got rid of a lot of clothes or whatever. And I knew that I had like some tall boots. So I wanted to measure them and like I said, everything that you see in here will be linked down below if you're interested in something like this. But yeah, dimensions on my closet are very weird. Plus, I had some things that I had to keep in mind, like the two doors, one leading into my bedroom, one leading into the bathroom. Um, I really originally thought that I was going to be able to have like two shelves like side by side, like to have four shelves like in this area. And it would have been perfect had I not had the baseboard. Without the baseboard, it would have been 50 inches. So I would have been like squeezing them in there. But with the baseboard, it's only 48 inches. So it was a no-go. So I had to go back to the drawing board. And then so that came up with this design of how I wanted it. But yes, I love how I have like the puck lights in there as well to give it like that luminous look. And everything is battery operated. So there's like no hard wiring or anything like that. But yeah, this is my shoe um shelf and i love the little display i get to have like a little cute display with like a fraction of the cost of what it would have cost me for a pack system one thing i admired about everyone's closet is that they had like some type of display of their accessories so i knew i wanted to mimic something like that so i used just one of the shelves i didn't actually put any shelving in there and i got these cute little acrylic stands like I said, all of this will be linked in my bio. And I have more sunglasses and glasses, but like some of them in my car, some of them are at work, some of them are in my work bag. And then I have like a jewelry stand, all of my necklaces. I need to get more necklaces, honestly, but I wear the two like on a daily so they don't come off on me. But I like how 
I'm able to have like a little display for like my jewelry on here and it's just like very cute and I love the acrylic with the white because it just makes everything look less bulky less chunky one thing I need to get is an acrylic stand for my um earrings because I just like have them on random in my room and once I'm able to get that I think I'm gonna set it over here but I love this little display so far and then we come down here and we have let me see if we can get it all in there we have a display for my little accessories. I have some of my little handbags on here. This one would be cute with this outfit today. Um, but have like these handbags, some belts. I'm thinking about getting a little organizer for my belts because I do have some more that really don't roll up like this. And then just some miscellaneous type purses as well. But I love, let me see, I love how like up here how it lights it up and it just adds like a touch of luxury to this that I love so I'm glad that I was able to have something like this and the more that I get more accessories and things that I get I'm able to like add to it so here is like the bulk of my clothes after I cleaned out everything and donated a lot to a women's shelter one thing about these <laughs> these shelves are it's only a certain amount of width i believe i'll insert up here like how wide it is so the depth of the actual shelf because keep in mind this is supposed to be intended to be a bookshelf it's not intended to be closed so you have to do a little finessing to get it this is the original hangers that i had how wide they are you see that was not gonna fit so i had to get order some kid hangers that are like a fraction of the of the length of this the depth so it'll be able to fit and it also depends on like how you finesse and you how far you put the rod and i got the rods um for the shelves from home depot very cheap i think it was like six dollars and then the end caps were like three dollars i also have those linked as well they came in white i spray painted it black because i wanted like that white and black kind of theme but you can pull it out a little bit more so you can have a little bit more room or if you have a big enough closet an idea you can do is leave off that plywood um backing that you like nail in on the back of the shelves you can leave that off and then you can kind of push the rail back and then kind of have the shelf a little bit off from the wall to where you have a little bit more room it's really up to you but I knew that once I got the kid hangers, it was going to be able to fit. And now, like I said, they like fit perfectly in there as well. Also, we have my jeans. And then down here, like I said, I have the rail. You can see that the rail is a little bit more closer to um, the front where I could fit all of those in there and they're not hanging out from the shelf. Because one thing I didn't want is like them to be like hanging too far out from the shelf. So, like I said, it's all like how you place your um your railing on there. But I really like how like all of this came up here. And up here I just have like a few like random hats and accessories and things like that. So you see this whole little setup. Here, I just have like a plain white dresser. I'm thinking about adding some hardware, um, some handles to be able to pull from it. This is just from Ikea. I'll try to have this linked as well. But this is where I want to focus. So, I knew that I wanted to have like some type of vanity type of situation up here. And I think it all came together so beautifully. I have like a small little collection of perfumes that I've been growing. And I knew that I wanted to have like a display for that as well. So I once again got one of the acrylic shelves. It'll be linked down below. I almost, this mirror was actually a gift from my grandmother a long time ago. Like when I first moved into the military and I moved and I almost got rid of it because it's very bulky, very heavy. But I kept it in my storage because I was like, maybe one day. I love that um, old antique type of Victorian type of look. And I'm so glad that I kept it because now it's like the perfect kind of mirror for this um, vanity display up here. 
this actually is like a towel that I got whenever I was thinking about doing like UGC content creation and like see like how like it just makes all the background of it look very luxe and things like that so it's just been sitting underneath my couch for the longest and I was like oh I can just bring this up here for like some texture and just variety I got this little tray from the bathroom section at Target as for like $20 I also have this linked and I just wanted to be able to like hold some of my jewelry hold um some of my earrings I got this cute little candle from Target just be to bring in that black that I wanted to since I have like a lot of gold those are like my accent colors black and gold and then we have my little luxury type of display for my perfumes and I think it all just looks so good everything just looks so good of it it's like a such a nice display and it was really cheap to make because i already had like what would have been probably the most expensive thing on here I already had this shout out to my grandma Ada. okay let's talk about one of my dilemmas um i probably inserted a clip where i was trying to build like a cabinet to be able to put in this area over here that's off center from the dresser to hang my dresses since some of them are like maxi and long was not working out was not working out at all so i had to go back to the drawing board i was tired of looking at that trying to figure out what it was and then i went on amazon and i knew i only had like a small bit of space I didn't want to like put anything in front of my um internet panel just in case like the xfinity people have to come and get into there i didn't want to be like constantly having to move things and i didn't want to put anything over here because i knew eventually like i would get more clothes maybe more accessories and i can be able to get like a couple more shelves just to have it over there out of the way and i'm going to show you what i did to solve the problem and it's really genius and i'm so glad that i figured it out it's really like a smaller area to where i can have my dresses where it's not cluttered it's out of the way and i got this rail from amazon and it's actually pretty cool like you can move it to the side but it was like the perfect size a lot of them were like 16 inches and i knew i only had about 10 to 11 and a half inches to be able to work with i believe this one is 10 and a half and it was super easy to install very easy to install and now i'm able to have my dresses i had to order more of the kid hangers because i still have them on the old ones and once i put my clothes on the kid hangers it's going to be able to lay flush like directly with it and it's going to be beautiful and i love that i'm able to have my dresses in here in the closet with the rest of my clothes because i almost had to keep them in the storage because i just didn't know where to put them and this is the area that i kind of kept blank just in case i needed to add more shelves it's so much easier to have go and get 25 dollars shelves from target and add them over here in case i get more accessories more clothes and things like that and i can just lay it flush with the wall and it'd be less cluttered but for the meantime this is perfect this is nice i love being able to actually walk in my closet i love being able to actually um see all of my things instead of digging and having to find things and baskets and drawers and things like that like everything is neat and organized and i love that so yes if you're interested in doing something like that check all the links below i'll have everything linked down for you it was super simple i did this in a weekend i probably could have did it in like a day like a full day if i really put it my mind to it but i worked nights and i was tired so i finished it in a weekend i believe it's very nice <laughs> looks very luxe um for what it is and yeah thank you guys so much for watching my video i greatly appreciate it if you like this video you can let me know by giving this video a thumbs up liking it and commenting and hitting subscribe if you feel so inclined i love doing this project and i love sharing this project with you i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll catch you guys on the next video bye